Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the week three update for the Social Distance Running Challenge presented by ARE Event Productions. Let's get into some of the stats from this past week. Our mileage total has recently passed over 5,000 total miles. Okay, camera two. What's that? We don't have a camera two? This is, this is a low budget operation? Oh, I'm, I'm not getting paid? No? What? Are you? My apologies, it appears as though we had some technical difficulties. So this week's big news is the referral contest that we unveiled. So, go to your confirmation email, find your referral link, and the person who refers the most people will get a custom social distance running challenge branded toilet paper holder. One of a kind. So, you're going to want to do that. Invite your brother. Invite your mom. Invite your dad. Invite your dog. All I want to do is sleep. I don't want to run. I just want to sleep. Ah. Uh, I don't think dogs are eligible. They can run with you, but I don't think they can sign up. I'll double check on that. Now we're going to kick it over to Josh for sports. That's what it says. I thought there was no sports, Josh. What's going on? Hey, Pete. Here we go. So uh, we're going to see what's going on with Hudson the Cat. And here we see she's preparing for her first, and there it is, her first turn. She's rotated once, and uh, she's really off to a great start. Oh, and another one. She's made it back to exactly, exactly where she started. Let's be honest, quarantine is not the best for one's fitness, but she is back up on her feet, and she is ready for more. And let's see what happens. Okay, so, oh, and she's back down. This girl is unstoppable. If there was the ultra marathon of the flippity flop, she is the crowning champion, earning that belt buckle under 24 hours. Fortunately, she still has her job of staring out the window, but that can wait as she flippity flops yet one more time. I'll tell you what, this is about the most exciting thing I've seen since quarantine started. How about you? So thanks to Cassie Hudson, the reporter from News 10, who did a wonderful piece on the SDRC this week. Thanks a lot, Cassie. Check it out on the Social Distance Running Facebook page. It's posted there. Let's check out some photos from the week. Here's one from Bridget Enderol. I don't know how to say your last name, Bridget, but we enjoy the photo. That's a very real finish line in the virtual challenge. Here's a photo submitted by Mark Smith, sporting the throwback Albany College of Pharmacy singlet. You know what, Mark? Nice work, because there's a lot of people I know that would not fit into anything they wore in college, especially a singlet, so. You're doing all right. Here's one from Nathan Gibson. Looks like he's enjoying some beautiful weather, which I did not find anywhere around the Albany area in the last week. Actually, I'm pretty sure it snowed last Friday. So, Nathan, wherever you are, stay there. So for all of us here at ARE Event Productions, thanks for tuning in, keep running, and stay safe.